Which example do you want to see? In this example, we have just a simple distribution. I have this 3 outside the parentheses that I need to distribute to both the 2x and the 5 that are inside the parentheses. Now remember that distribution is actually multiplication. So we're going to say 3 times 2x, which makes 6x. You multiply the coefficient and bring the variable down. And I'm going to bring down a plus, and I have 3 times a positive 5, which makes 15. Double check that you have no like terms to combine. Remember that like terms have the same variable with the same exponent. So here I have a variable of x, and here I have just a constant. They are not like terms, so we cannot combine them. So there's our answer. In this example, we have a simple distribution. We have a 4 outside of the parentheses that is going to be distributed to the 3x and the 2 inside the parentheses. Now before I actually do that distribution, I have a subtraction here. So whenever I have a subtraction, I'm going to do a stay, change, change. So stay, change, and change. So now I know that this is a negative 2. Very important. Then I can distribute, and remember, this 4 gets distributed to everything inside the parentheses. Distribution is multiplication. So we are actually going to be multiplying the 4 times each of these terms inside. So 4 times 3x makes 12x. 4 times a negative 2 makes a negative 8. So if we simplify this now, this is really 12x minus 8. Double check that you can't combine any like terms. Remember that like terms have to have the same variable and the same exponent on that variable. So here I have a variable of x. Here I have a constant. They are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. So this is my answer. In this example, I know it's very tempting to want to add the 2 plus 4 first. However, remember that this right here is a multiplication. And if you think about your order of operations, or PEMDAS, you'll remember that multiplication has to come before addition. So we have to do the multiply first, which means we have to distribute this 4 to both the 2x and the 5. And I have a little subtraction here, which means I need to do a stay, change, change. So stay, change, change means that the 2x stays, but the subtraction changes, and the 5 becomes a negative. Very important to help us remember that this is a negative 5. One of the biggest mistakes students make is missing that negative. So distributing, which is multiplying. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times a negative 5 is negative 20. Then I need to bring down what was in front. This 8x is a positive, and I have a 2 out front. Now think about what are your like terms. The like terms are 2 and negative 20. Combine those and you get a negative 18. What I have left is this positive 8x. Now think about if I want to put this in standard form, do I want to put that 8x in front of the constant or behind the constant? Constants should always be at the back. So I want to put this 8x in front of my constant. So my final answer is going to be 8x minus 18. In this example, we have a subtraction right here. I need to remember that this is actually saying minus 1. Or we could do a state change change and say plus negative 1, which means I'm actually distributing a negative 1 to everything inside these parentheses. 
this can be a tough one. A lot of students often miss that negative and try to distribute the 3x. We don't want to do that. Okay, remember, there's a negative there that we need to distribute inside, which means we're going to be multiplying by a negative 1. So if I take negative 1 times 2x, I now have a negative 2x. And if I take a negative 1 times this 8, I now have a negative 8. Then I need to bring down what I had in front. After that, I can combine like terms. So if I start with this 3x, what would be the like term? The negative 2x. So now if I combine 3x minus 2x, I get 1x. And then I have this constant down here, which I'm just going to bring down. Now I will accept this as an answer, but this is actually the fully simplified answer x and 1x mean the same thing. In this example, we have a couple of pieces outside of the parentheses. And I know, looking right here, it's very, very tempting to say to take 4 minus 4. But that would give you 0. And that would mean that you're distributing the 0. And honestly, that's rarely the case, guys. So. Think about your PEMDAS. Distribution is a multiplication. This right here is subtraction. According to PEMDAS, what do we do first? We have to do the multiply first, which means I'm going to be distributing the 4. But because of this subtraction, we are going to do a state change change. I'm actually distributing a negative 4. Big red flag there. That's something that a lot of students miss. Make sure when you see subtraction that you do a state change change to remind yourself that there's a negative involved. So now I can take that negative 4 times the 2x and the 6 inside the parentheses. Do not distribute it to the 3x. It's not in the parentheses, so it doesn't get multiplied. So this becomes a negative 8x and a negative 24. Then I can bring down what was outside and around the parentheses. And now we are going to combine like terms. So if I start with this 4, what would be its like term? The negative 24. They're both constants. So 4 and negative 24. And then remember we want to put this in standard form which means my variables actually need to go in front. So if I have a negative 8x, who's its like term? The 3x. And they're going to go in front of the constants. Constants are always at the back of the expression. Now that I have things organized, I can just combine them. Negative 8x plus 3x makes negative 5x. And then 4 and negative 24 will make a negative 20. If I simplify that farther, it's just 5x, negative 5x sorry, minus 20.